Dead shot. He shoots people. Well, that's Rick Flagg's assessment. A hired assassin turned major member of the Suicide Squad. Deadshot is an expert marksman, boasting to never miss a shot. In fact, he's only missed once, and that was because it was Batman. <clears throat> Sorry, but can Deadshot really be that accurate? First up, let's talk about Deadshot's firearms. If you fire a gun, multiple times without changing anything, they will not hit the exact same spot. They'll be spread out. Now, the amount of spread is determined by the precision of the gun and the distance to the target. It's an angular effect because the bullets will be released from the gun within a cone, typically. So the further away the target is, the less likely you're going to hit your target. The precision of a standard issue military sniper rifle is between one and three minutes of angle, where a minute of angle is a 60th of a degree. Over 800 meters, that equates to a 68% chance of a single shot hitting a human target, or 99.7% over a five shot group. Now, the longest recorded sniper hit was 2,475 metres, where each shot taken by the British Royal Army's Craig Harrison only had a 47% chance of actually hitting. It, in fact, took nine shots before the eventual two successive headshots. What this tells us is that dead shots firearms will have some inherent randomness to them randomness which no amount of skill can get around. The movie's marketing claims that he is deadly from 4,000 meters. Even if he were using the most precise bench rest rifles which are used in competition shooting with a 0.15 minute of angle precision, the chance of hitting a target at that distance would still only be 82%. And that's not all he has to worry about. Once the bullet has left the muzzle of the gun, there are two main factors which control its motion, gravity and the air. So in order to successfully hit our target, we need to compensate for both of these when aiming. First up, gravity. It affects bullets just like everything else. Bullets are projectiles. Fast ones nonetheless, but projectiles they still are. That means they fall vertically at a rate of 9.81 meters per second squared. So bullets do not travel in straight lines. Which begs the question, why is Hollywood so obsessed with laser sights? Not only do they give the game away to the target that you're trying to hit them, they don't provide an accurate representation of where the bullet will go. Snipers need to overshoot their targets if they want to actually hit them. Laser sights in reality are only actually used either for ranging, which is working out exactly how far away the target is, or in closer quarters, where the trajectory of the bullet won't be affected by gravity all that much, but time is of the essence. So now on to air resistance or drag. Now this is often approximated using the drag equation, which isn't always valid, by the way but it shows the number of factors that are involved. These include the density of the air, which can vary significantly depending on temperature and humidity. Then there's the relative velocity of that air to the bullet, which may include any wind. Uh, you've also then got the cross-sectional area of the bullet and how streamlined it is, its shape. They all affect how the bullet is slowed down. When the bullet's fired, it's traveling at some three times the speed of sound, which is way faster than any wind that might be present, so we can ignore them. A shockwave forms ahead of the bullet, which slows and deflects the air around it, which then becomes turbulent. It's both of these which drag on the bullet, slowing it down. But as the bullet slows down, those winds can become significant and they can, in fact, change all of the properties of the drag equation, meaning that our bullet has become very susceptible to the conditions incredibly far away from where it was actually fired, just to make life nice and easy. 
Some snipers say this can alter where the bullet hits by some 50 feet. For instance, Welsh Royal Marines Matt Hughes once tried to compensate for incredible wins in Iraq by firing 56 feet to the left and 38 feet up from what he was actually trying to hit. Miraculously, the bullet landed right in the chest. So what we've learned is that the firing and subsequent motion of a bullet is by no means easy. It's dictated by non-linear equations that only really a computer can solve. And those solutions themselves are incredibly sensitive to exactly how the gun was randomly fired, but then also on the conditions that are incredibly far away from where you fired the gun, of which we have very little knowledge. Basically, our ability under certain conditions to predict where that bullet will go can completely go out of the window. That's a very simple definition of what chaos theory is. Real life snipers are taught about all of these different effects, though really it comes down to practice and practically a little bit of guesswork as well. But there's no way they can get it right all the time. So if Deadshot really does never miss, he either has perfect situational awareness, is an expert fluid dynamicist, and can crunch numbers in his head better than a supercomputer, or he never makes a shot that won't guarantee to hit. Occam's Razor tells me that that last one is by far the most likely and therefore must be what is going on, which makes his records Pretty pathetic, really. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching all of this video. I'm guessing you liked it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could uh, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it around with your mates. Uh, also, if you do like sciencey stuff, you can of course subscribe to my channel. I do lots of uh, analysis on pop culture things and I also do a bit of talking about the latest physics results. Some exciting stuff coming up on my channel very soon. I promise, can't tell you everything. Uh, also, have a chat in the comments. If you've seen the Suicide Squad film, what did you think? Let's get chatting.